All right, guys, here's a quick walkthrough on how to set up NetShare with a Windows XP computer. Uh, most of the directions that are out there right now are just for Mac, so I'm going to try and show you guys how to do it with XP. The first thing you're going to want to do is set up an ad hoc network between the phone and your probably laptop, right? So the first thing you want to do is open up your um, wireless network connection properties, and then you're going to want to go to that tab up there that says wireless networks, and you're going to want to add a new network. Now, I've already done this. I've created NetShare, so I'm going to show you the properties in the network that I created. You just want to go ahead and name it NetShare or whatever you want to call it. Just make sure that that's the one you connect to when you connect to it on your phone. Set your network off to open and disable any encryption. You don't need to worry about any authentication or connection tabs. Go ahead and hit OK. It is just that easy. Now, you want to make sure to check this box right here. Now mine, since I've already set this up, I can't remove it, but when you're first setting it up, you're going to want to check that box. Okay, once you've got that set up, you need to go ahead and connect to that network, okay? So once you do that, your uh, it'll send out a signal to your phone. So then you're going to come over to your phone, and you're going to see that NetShare is on there. You want to connect to that, and then you're going to need to set up IPs. So I've set up 192.168.10.1 on the phone, and then your subnet mask also. You can use 255.255.00 or 3255s, then a zero. You're going to want to do the same thing in your IP address settings for your uh, computer. And that is not what I wanted to click. I really suck at holding a handy cam and doing this at the same time. Hope you guys can see this okay. Alright. So you, if you don't know how to set your IP settings, you right click on your uh, network connection, go to props, put a TCP IP, then hit properties, and set up your um, connection. Okay, so here you want to want to use a different IP address, but the same string of numbers, okay? So my iPhone is 192.168.10.1, we're going to set this up .10.2. Make sure they're on the same subnet, okay? Hit OK on those suckers, and then you should have a connection between your phone and your computer. Okay, so that's the first step. Now the problem with Windows right now is I don't know how to get it to run uh, Proxy Socks 5, okay? So you have to use this program called Proxifier. It's a pretty slick program. You can download it at proxifier.com. They give you a free 31-day trial. So use it a little bit. See if you're going to use the tethering program. See how that works out for you, okay? Set up your settings in Proxifier. Um, it's pretty easy to do that. You just go up to this little hammer thing here. Click that set up the, the proxy for the same um, IP that you set up your phone and then make sure to use port 1080 and then hit OK on that and you should be good to go. So what you want to do after that is go back to your phone and set up NetShare on your phone. Now once you have NetShare going then you can go back to your phone or your computer and connect to the internet. Okay, now I live out in BFE, so um, my uh, connection is really bad out here. But you can see the page is loading, and you can see that NetShare has made the connection. And this is how you do it on Windows XP. Everybody enjoy, and don't use Vista, because I don't even know how to begin to tell you how to use that.